100 years ago, one of the boldest feats of engineering ever envisaged was conceived in one of the most remote corners of the world. It's described as being nature's gift to Tasmania, that this hydroelectric scheme was there for the taking. Thousands of people, many displaced by hard economic times, war and strife, came from all over the world, not only to help build a mighty power scheme, but to make Tasmania their home. For the first time in my life, I got a own house that I felt that I could call it home, my own home. I've got very close French friends, German friends, Italian friends from then. I remember at the interview they showed us this map out of, you know, the southwest area. It said unexplored. It would never happen in today's world that such a place would be destroyed. The more of the state that got locked up into national parks and um, world heritage area, the less options there were for developing hydropower. As society all around us changes, the hydro has gone on that change with, with our community. Tasmanians are very proud of what, of what the hydro has done in Tasmania, and we're going to make sure that they're going to be proud of what we do next as well.